Today, we're going to compare the cameras on a Galaxy S24 Plus versus the S23 Plus and see if there's any improvements within the year. So let's start off with portrait mode this time and they both can shoot in 1x, 2x, and 3x. And as you can tell, the colors are a lot different. The S23 seems to be more vibrant, more punchy, especially on the lips, it's pretty red. Whereas on S24, things tend to look more natural and a lot more toned down. And this is a very common theme throughout the whole video. Sometimes I do like the more punchy look on S23, but there are times where I think it's just too much. During low light, the 1x and 2x is pretty consistent. Once it hits 3x, things do change a little bit. But during low light portrait mode, I do prefer the S24+. Plus. Now for the back cameras, you got ultra wide, wide, and 3x, which they both give you the same experience. Everything from the shooting experience to the camera UI. So if you do happen to upgrade from the S23 Plus to the S24, the whole camera experience is going to be super similar. Even if you do happen to zoom past 3x, you still get those little tiny steps from 10x all the way to 30x, which is the max. Now for the quality, I feel like they're both super similar. You're not going to notice a huge upgrade from this area too. But like I said before, the colors are a little bit different, especially if you're shooting with a lot of blues in a picture. You will notice that they're going to be less blue in the shadows on S24, which looks more natural and closer to the eye. So even with the whites too, where it kind of looks like there's a shade of blue versus the S24, the whites look more white, just like the blacks. When you're indoors, they both look very close to each other. They may be some differences in terms of color, white balancing and all that, and that may have to do with the software, but most of the time, they look very, very similar. Now let's say you're in a city where you see a lot less blues in the picture, then I feel like a lot of the colors and image look pretty identical to each other. So far I don't think there's a reason to upgrade just for the cameras, even though it does do a lot better trying to imitate a more realistic picture. But for everything else from the performance and just using the phone in general, it feels exactly the same besides the physical phone. Where the S23 has more rounded edges versus the S24, it's more sharp and flat. Now moving on to low light situations, I feel like they are still pretty identical. The colors may be a little bit different, but once you zoom all the way up to 30x, it seems like the S24 does produce a little bit more sharpness to the photo. And just like the very blue pictures, during that time you will commonly bump into these tungsten lights, which seems a bit less orangey on S24. video, the same experience from the camera side, you still get the ultra wide, wide and telephoto at 3x. I think the stabilization is mostly the same, and for the image, I think it's the same thing as what I said with the photos. But for video, it's a lot less noticeable. Where the shadows on S24 still look more natural, and you would really have to look side by side just to see the differences. Whereas on the photos, you really didn't because it just stood out so much. I even tried walking with the 3x and the stabilization looks so similar to each other. And even though the S24 might win in some categories, overall I don't know if it's worth upgrading if you do have the S23. And shooting low light, especially with the ultra wide, doesn't look the best, it's still pretty noisy and you see a lot of micro jaders when I'm walking. Of 
course shooting with the wide is the best so stick with that and let me know if you see any huge differences and which one you prefer between the two. So after this clip I'm just gonna show some selfies. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.